this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can complete a test transaction with a product you've created with the WP Express Checkout plugin. So rather than using our Sandbox account in this transaction, which we have previously done in other tutorials, so if you'd like to use Sandbox, you can take a look at our other YouTube tutorials. But in this video, we'll be taking a look at how you can lower the price of your product to something small such as 10 cents and then complete your test transaction that way using a PayPal account that differs from your merchant account or using a debit or credit card. So let's head over to our WordPress dashboard so we can take a look at lowering a product price and then we'll go from there. So I've landed on my WordPress website where I have that WP Express Checkout plugin installed and activated and I've already got my products set up and ready to go. So now if I wanted to test the checkout process that my customer would undertake to purchase one of the items that I've created, I'll lower the product price. So you can see that that product there is now 10 cents. I've lowered that. I'll just show you how you can do that on your own website. So just click the edit button for the product you'd like to lower the price of to complete that test transaction. Then you can come to the price section and just enter a very low amount so you can just complete that test transaction without being out of pocket very much money. So 10 cents is reasonable for me to check out with that product as a test transaction. Just update it once you change the price. From there, you'll need to head to your settings menu and just ensure that you do have the live mode checked. So I'll go and do that now. So once you are in that general settings tab, you should have that live mode checked because we will be completing a live transaction. So this differs from when you are completing a sandbox transaction. You don't need to have that checked for a sandbox transaction. But as we are going to be completing a live transaction, either with a live PayPal account or with a debit or credit card, you will need to have this checked to complete the tutorial. You'll also need to have your live client ID and your live secret key in these fields, which you should have set up when you went through that settings documentation. So you can read more about that by clicking that read this documentation if you haven't yet located those keys from your PayPal account. So now that we've got our live mode checked and we've got our product lowered to a reasonable price that we can complete our test transaction, before we proceed, just go down to the bottom of this page and save the changes you've made. Then we can move on and we'll go to our product page where we have that cheap product and we'll complete that live transaction. So you will need to have a PayPal account that differs from the account you have set up here. So you can't use your merchant account to also complete the test transaction that we're going to complete now. So your options are you've got a secondary PayPal account, you can use that. You could have a, a friend complete your test transaction for you or you can use your debit or credit card. So the money that we pay will then head to this PayPal account here that we've set up with the keys. So we've got all that in place. Let's head over now to our product page. So I've set up this product page. I'll just refresh it because I made that change in that price. There we go. So I've got my diaper bag. I've headed on here as a customer and let's now complete our test transaction with this product. But I'm saying test, but it is actually a live transaction. So the only reason I'm saying test is because we've lowered it to a testing amount, but it will be a live transaction that 10 cents I pay is going to end up in my merchant PayPal account, minus the fees, obviously. So let's go ahead and we'll buy the baby bag. I'll pay with a PayPal account. I've got a secondary PayPal account. As I mentioned, you can use a debit or credit card if you don't have a secondary PayPal account. You'll need to enter in your PayPal email address if you're paying with PayPal and then your password followed by login. I'll do that now. So once you're in your PayPal account, you'll need to pay for that 10 cents. I've got 10 cents USD there to pay and I can use my PayPal balance. Also, because my PayPal balance is in Australian dollars, I'm going to pay just that little bit more as you can see. So once I've completed that transaction, I'll be directed to the thank you page where I can see thank you for your purchase. And that transaction has then been completed. So if I now go to both of my PayPal accounts, the one I'm a merchant of, that'll have the money gone into it that I just transacted here. 
and the one I obviously just completed the transaction with will have that amount deducted from it. So that pretty much sums up how you can complete the test transaction. It's very simple. As you can see, I just had two PayPal accounts, completed it with one, was a merchant of another. But it's important that you go back and you just edit the price and return it to the original price. So let's head back to our product and we'll just return that to the original price. So it was the diaper bag. Click on the diaper bag and we can return that to the original price there. Then just update it. If you don't want your website to be in live mode and you only want to complete some test transactions, perhaps you'd like to have a go with Sandbox, make sure you just go to that settings menu and you disable live mode for now. The other thing I'd like to quickly show you is if you go to the orders menu, you can see that that transaction was completed. The total was 10 cents and it's been paid. So you can view more details about that there. Let's head over and I'll just show you those two PayPal accounts, the merchant one and the customer PayPal account, just so you can see what that looks like in the PayPal accounts. So in the customer PayPal account, you can see that the money out 14 cents, as I explained, it's because this is an Australian PayPal account. I paid that little bit extra um, because it was in USD, the 10 cent payment, as that's how my website set up in the USD. So there you can see money out 14 cents. If I now head to my merchant account, then we'll see that reflect in there. So also in my recent activities, I can see that I completed a 10 cent USD payment there. So if we head to my other merchant account, we can see that we got the payment of 10 cents right there. There's that 10 cent payment come through, 10 cents USD. I'll head back now to my WordPress dashboard as that pretty much sums up this tutorial on how you can complete a test transaction with a WP Express Checkout plugin product. So this is one way. There's that other way that you can use Sandbox, although if you're not familiar with Sandbox, this is probably the easiest and simplest way. And because you are completing a live transaction, it shows you exactly what your customer will see. So you should have also got the sales notification email within the email account that you stated within that PayPal checkout. So it's also a good idea to go and check the, to make sure that you got that email as a customer. So just checking that the, the transaction process is smooth is a good idea before you go and advertise your products to potential customers. This ensures there's no problems in the checkout process as you want the transaction process to be as simple and smooth for your customers to complete as this will lead to higher conversion on your website. So you don't want to miss any sales because something in the transaction process is broken. If you have any further questions or queries about this tutorial, feel free to email us or comment them below.